What's up, what's up, YouTube? Latin Rider here, just bringing you a little quick update regarding my uh, 4K action cam, my Cross Tour CT8500. Uh, the brand of the product is Cross Tour. Uh, they make a lot of other cameras, you know, like dash cams and stuff like that. Um, the good, the good thing about those cameras is not only that they record pretty good, 1080p's and also 4K, and the 4K ones also do 2.7K at 30 frames. Okay, this is my helmet. Once uh, this is the uh, one storm, uh, yeah, one storm helmet. I have this like about almost two years now. I believe in a year and a half or somewhere around there, two years probably. Check out. But anyhow, this is what I did. Uh, I actually ran the cable, right? This is the the cable right here from the mic. I put like 3M double tape here and here and also one here. So I stick the cable to it. Left it there overnight, squeezed it nice and tight. And as you can see, the cable is right here sticking out. So the case, remember, you can't really... Uh, the case is sealed. This is a water seal case. So I changed the back part, the back door, so that way more noise and... And air flows in there, I guess more noise you can say. So whenever I use it without the external mic, you know, basically could catch more noise. So I rendered in there. Underneath, as you can see right here, it's I, I rendered twice around the, the cushion and then I tucked it in here, sit, you know, closed up everything, you know, pressed the button back in there, left it in there nice and tugged, and then the mic I sticked it into the front. I don't know if you guys are able to see it right there, but this is the mic right here, as, as you can see, it's moving right now. Okay, it has the, uh, the not a dead cat, but you know, the uh, wind protector, or I forgot what they call that thing. And then I also got my other mic here, this one right here, which is a different type of mic. This one is actually for my Bluetooth device. See that? Oh. Yeah, that's my Bluetooth uh, device that I bought for like above, I think it was like 20 bucks I paid for that on eBay. And it works pretty good. It does it up to eight hours. So now that I have the mic in here, so so this is basically what I did. So what I did was I had an, ex an extra case, which the camera fits perfect in there. I don't remember if it was on the uh, SJ4000, which I believe it was because the uh, there was two of them that the buy was a little higher. So I had to throw those away. And this one was lower, so it's perfect for this one. So I ended up ordering another one, and then I have the original one for the camera, which I don't want to. I want to use it in case I go out, you know, and it rains or whatever. Then I don't have to worry about the camera getting wet. But this one I have to worry about it getting wet because I changed the cover with the one that has the little holes. And then also if right here, you see that? Yes, the uh, 2.5 millimeter jack input. So I drilled a hole there, and then I ended up making it a little longer, a little wider actually, so that way I could stick, you know, this in there, the mic. So, as you guys can see closely, it fits perfect in there. See that, the camera is actually inside there, all right? So it fits perfect, it, 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 it fits in a way that I really didn't know I was gonna get it that, that good, look at that. See that, it's almost as perfect as I could get it. I just drew the smaller hole and then a bigger, bigger, and then finally I, I drew the a hole about this big. I believe that's like 10 millimeters or so. And you know, once I push it in there, it, it I could feel it like go in, and then when I pressed it in, like it just gripped in there perfectly. It's like it won't go nowhere. So I'm, I'm I can't wait to go out with this later on or maybe tomorrow and do a little filming by the park. Uh, not right now; it's a little too hot. So what, what happens is now that I have this setup right here, which this is going to be my main setup here, you know, I'm going to be using this for now on. I love the setup. It's perfect. I also, like I said, I ordered an extra cage. And so what I'm going to do on that cage, also I'm going to drill another hole and keep it and put it away just in case this one ever breaks or whatnot. Uh, now let me show you this right here. This is my external microphone also, a lapel mic which I had in one of the radios. This is from a uh, radio. Uh, and this is a 3.5 and the one for the camera is a 2.5. So I order an adapter, which is a 2.5 male to a 3.5 female. And this is where it's gonna go in. So what I'm gonna do is when I get that, I'm gonna stick it in there and then stick this one into it. So that way I could use this one. So 
I have two options now. Now, what happens is, in, in case in the future this mic goes back, gets you know wet or damaged or whatnot, then I have the backup microphone. So this one won't work. That is why I, I ordered the external uh, inputs, which is a 2.5 male to a 3.5 female. That way I could connect this into the 3.5 and then the 2.5 into the uh, camera. So once I get that, I'm gonna do a video, show you guys how that works, the whole system connect this on. So right now, like I said, I have the camera ready and set 1080p at 60 frames. Um, yes, it does 4K and yes, it does 2.7 also at 30 frames apiece. This camera comes with the EIS, which is an electronic image stabilization system that comes built into the camera. And what I was reading correctly was that it doesn't work with the 4K, but it does work with the 2.7K on this camera. So that's awesome. Um, so like I said, I recommend this camera to anybody that wants to do any type of videos. It doesn't matter if it's motorcycle, cars, bicycle, rollerblading, whatever, skateboarding, anything. It's an awesome camera, and especially this one, the CT8500, because it comes with the external microphone. And I believe this is like the only one, I think there's another one also that comes with external microphone, but get this one, man, 4K, 30 frames, 2.7, 30 frame, and also using the image stabilization, the electronic image stabilization at 2.7K. And then every other one from there, like 720p, I believe 720p does 60 and also 120, which I really don't record on uh, that level. So, you know, I, 1080p at 60 is one of the best um, video quality you're gonna get. So yeah, like I said, I recommend it. I love this camera, it's awesome. I already did a video and a lot of my friends and everybody's telling me that they love the way the image came out and it looks good. And also when I was writing, recording, you know, even though I kind of messed up the video in one way, but he also, I recorded a couple of minutes and they told me that it sounds pretty good. You could actually hear my voice loud and clear also within the helmet. And when I opened up the visor, I thought more air was going to come in and, you know, mess around with the audio and it really didn't do anything like as I thought it was. But yeah, it sounds awesome, man. So I, like I said, uh, I recommend this camera, the uh, Crosstor CT8500 4K with the external microphone. And I can't wait to plug this bad boy on and give it a little test, see how it comes out, how the audio sounds. Um, so yeah, this is it guys. This is my setup right here. Can't wait to go out there. All right guys, stay safe and write with your equipment on. All right, so take care guys. Catch you guys later. Let it write it here. Peace out YouTube.